Hello everyone, it's Kerry Stead bringing you some more action from the 2013 Australian Open Chess Championships from North Leagues in Camaray, Sydney. Uh, this video is going to look at the action from the rest day, which featured the ACF National Conference in the morning and the Australian Lightning Championship in the afternoon. As usual, we need to thank our sponsors, Hancock Prospecting, North Leagues, Ridges North Sydney, Australian Chess Enterprises and Chess Discount Sales. The ACF Conference, National Conference was attended by the 26 delegates from various states and the major things to come from the conference are, first of all, a very important one, Norm Greenwood, the current ACF Treasurer who has been the Treasurer for uh, over, the, over the last uh, 10 years, uh, probably more like 15 years, was awarded life membership of the ACF so we'd uh, heartily congratulate Norm for that achievement. Uh, also the executive was uh, chosen and elected. Uh, the president was uh, Gary Wastel who won a contest uh, by ballot over Brian Jones and Mike Van Rennen. The vote was actually tied 13-13 between Wastel and Jones and once that 13-13 uh, tie was announced uh, Brian Jones then uh, stepped aside and allowed Gary to remain as president. Deputy President was Bill Gletsos as he was the only nominee. Norm Greenwood once again re-elected Treasurer as the only nominee. Um, I'm now the Secretary replacing Tom McCullough who was stepping down from the position and I was the only nominee for the position. And the Vice Presidents uh, were now Kevin Bonham and Lennon Sandler, who were elected in a three-way vote uh, with Dennis Jessup being the unsuccessful candidate there. Turning to the Lightning Championship, we had 77 players in the event and obviously a, a very strong field. We had uh, one GM with Igor Kenkin playing in the event. We had four IMs, one WIM, six FMs and one WFM if my uh, counting of the title players is correct. And we actually had a tie for equal first place between FIDE Master Bobby Cheng and International Master James Morris. Uh, third place was International Master Vladimir Smirnov. Because of the tie for first, the uh, Bobby and James had a two-game playoff. Uh, Bobby won the first game of the playoff and drew the second game, so he was uh, awarded the title. Uh, however, James can feel a little bit unlucky as uh, he actually travelled up from Melbourne uh, pretty much overnight in the car with a couple of other people and with the bushfires that were happening uh, in southern New South Wales. He was actually delayed on his trip and didn't actually arrive until round three, which meant that he was awarded two half-point buyers for the first two rounds, so he started on one out of two rather than potentially starting on two out of two. And he actually went through the uh, tournament proper without losing a game. So. James can be uh, congratulated for that and obviously a bit unfortunate for uh, Bobby to beat him in the final playoff. However, what we also have with the Lightning, there are a number of finishes to games that I managed to record and you'll be able to uh, see those in the video.
And once again, if you're unable to make it to the venue, the best way to follow the tournament is on the tournament website. You can see the address there, the Google site. Uh, easiest way to get there is through the North Chess Club site, northsydneychess.org. That's got all the information you need. It's got results, it's got pairings, it's got games, it's got other things there. So go and check that out. Uh, or alternatively, you can uh, follow my blog on melbournegamescoach.blogspot.com and uh, hope to see you for the next video.
What are you doing? <laughs> 